Today I'm going to show you how to remove background noise or also white noise or hiss as you can call it from your vocal recordings. You may want to do this for specific reasons such as you're not recording in a studio or a place that is sound, um, soundproof? I don't think so. this recording right here and I'm going to show you guys what I mean and it starts off right at the beginning and you're going to hear it immediately as soon as I play it so here we go hey me you love me forget what you think of me but you'll never change your way so and immediately if I turn up the game you can hear the white noise and the hissing in the back so what we're gonna we're we're going to eliminate that, and how we do that is super easy. You could do that in just a matter of minutes. So we're going to go to our vocals, and we're going to right click and hit edit, and that's going to take us to Edison. And right here, immediately, we could see that the vocals are raw. You could see um, some clippings there in the beginning, and I'll get to that in different other videos of how to compress, how to DS sounds your vocals and how to edit and mix them, mix and master them. So here we have our white noise. If we take this and just replay this small scene, you can just hear the white noise. So they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. We're going to select an area that the white noise is in, but in this one, it is small. Click in the end, and what you want to do is have a part of the white noise that doesn't have a click in it because the click can affect the vocals. And I think this is fine. I think that's fine. So we're going to go to this little toothbrush right here, and we're going to right click, and it acquires a noise profile. And then what we're going to do, we're going to select the whole audio that we want to clean and then we're going to go back to the toothbrush and cleft click it and what this does is it acquires the noise profile and how much white noise is in it so we can preview it here again hey me you love me you got what you think of me but you'll never change your way now that's a preview of it without white noise in it um and we could see how much amount we want to take off or put in so if we go all the way to here to low amount of white noise, I'm going to actually mute my mic so I can hear this. Hey me, you love me, forget what you think of me, but you'll never change your way. Hey me, you love me, forget what you think of me, but you'll never change your way. It's a huge difference, and I think I think taking this white noise off of your mix is incredible because if you put fx or reverb on top of this the white noise will also have reverb and any equalizer that you put on any frequency that you change the white noise will change with it it's a small thing to overlook but it's definitely something that will make your whole mix sh uh, shine out more so with the amount you don't want to put it up all the way because it might start sounding distorted so you want to put it at a certain sweet spot that the vocals are clean but aren't distorting all right so i settled down with this and it's pretty good pretty good that's pretty good um um what we're gonna do is now hit accept and it's denoising it as you can see there after that you finished editing it and taking out as much white noise as you want we're going to select everything which is already selected and we're going to drag this and then drop it right here and then it'll be a number two of it so we have as you can see in the beginning where the white noise resembles the most you can see that it is i mean i guess it's not it's very very like subtle here you could see the white noise and here it's more um you know i hope this video was really helpful for you and i hope you learned something from it or was looking to learn how to do this and if you like the video, like it, and if you want to see more content of this where I'm going to go deeper into mixing um, vocals, definitely subscribe and hit the bell button so you can get notified when I post a new video. 
that's it for today, and I'll see you guys very soon. Shrimp are pretty rich.